If I feel something for a girl, does that mean that she's the one that I should marry? Gilbert. Hello. Gilbert. It was like a veil hanging before my inner consciousness it was suddenly lifted. I was Elizabeth Bennet dancing with Mr. Darcy. Every time our hands touched, it was... You all right, miss? It's cool. You're welcome. Need anything else? Any dragons around here need slaying? No, thank you. Who are you? I'm Anne. I'm... Gilbert! I am not a Gilbert Blythe fan. Oh, it's Gilbert. You're not funny. <laughs> I see him almost every day after school, do you not? Not because I want to, it's because I have to. I want to be Gilbert fair and square when he comes back to school. If you're gonna beat me in class, I want you to do it fair and square. <sighs> is his father on this well? It's very likely Gilbert's father isn't going to get well. You think I'm lucky? Fair to me, yes. And why is this about you? Gilbert, I am very sorry that I wasn't more sensitive about your father and what losing him really meant for you. I've missed you. Yeah? At school, there's no one to compete with. D. M. That is incorrect. Just take care of yourself. Come home someday. Yeah. There was this girl back in Avonlea. Anne. She was a redhead, fiery temp. Could you please tell Gilbert White that I don't need his help? Why don't you just tell me yourself? I'm right here. I suppose I just did. I wonder if I'll ever see her again. Anne. You're back. Yes. Looking forward to meeting Anne. I've heard so much about her. It's not like that with Anne. She's just a friend. <laughs> yeah, a friend that makes you smile and act like a mook. I don't mind being your escort. Well, I mind. I can fend for myself. The good doctor? Ugh. Someday I hope I get there. I don't think I can be a doctor. We'll get there. If you go where your passions lead you, people will come to you, Gilbert. And you will bring their children and everyone they hold dear to see a doctor who cares just as much as they do. Be a wonderful doctor. Admit it. You've been standing with him yes. ever since you first came to Avonlea and smashed your slate over your head. There have been countless clues. You're suggesting I post? If you're interested in Ruby, you should let her know before someone else takes their claim. And you certainly can't deny you were beguiled by her a dance practice. Even though it turns out you were secretly courting a Mr. Debbie Tom. Who you have the temerity to step out with another county there with no word warning? It's fine. I'm fine. Honestly, I wish you two every happiness. Then you show up at the rooms after exams and demand to know how Anne feels about you and give her all of 30 seconds to decide her entire future. That's what you do back. Sorry, I was confused before. I'm not anymore. I think.
think Gilbert Blythe might have been asking if I love him, and I think I told him to marry someone else. I love you. Anne. Dear Anne, since we are parting ways, perhaps forever, I feel I must unburden my heart. You are the fond object of my affection and my desire. You and you alone are the keeper of the key to my heart. Please, don't be alarmed. I don't expect your favor. But I can't, in good conscience, not reveal myself. I'm not engaged. Just how long have you known that you never intended to marry me? Gilbert didn't tell you anything? Tell me what? Diana, what letter? Thank you.